we're doing uh, this blue whale research in Southern California because this is the strongest population of blue whales in the world, where there's estimated over 2,000 individuals that will hang out in this area and feed on krill in the summertime. is actually this part right here and the main the main thing this tag does is it gets uh, dive depth temperature but this unit right here is what's called a fast lock GPS uh, and most GPS units take a while to get a fix on satellites so the main innovation of this GPS is that for that brief second the whale is at the surface it gets a picture of the GPS satellites that we can then download and interpret the position from so this will basically give us the position of the whale on every surfacing. And the main thing we wanted to do is put these out so that they go overnight because we get lots of data on what whales do during the daytime and where they are in the daytime, but we get very little data on where they are at night. So with this tag, we can get both their behavior at night. And what that's told us is they're actually spending twice as much time near the surface at night than they are in the day. So if ship traffic is coming through at night, which it is, they're actually more vulnerable to be struck by ships at night. And then the other thing it's going to give us is where is the whale at night? Because it may feed in a certain area in the daytime that might overlap with shipping lanes, but that might be different from what's happening at night. There she goes. Get ready for a tail this time. Let's see if we can get a tail. Here it comes. Let's see. Let's see. Here comes a little bit of a tail. Beautiful. Get your cameras. There's a nice fluke. Beautiful. Yeah, you know, the partnership's been really useful to us because uh, the Los Angeles Long Beach area has proven to be more and more important for blue whales uh, as an area that they're feeding, but especially with interactions and potential impacts of ship strikes. What the aquarium's allowing and providing is uh, daily data on the occurrence of blue whales in this critical area. We're able to visit the site only periodically ourselves. Uh, the aquarium going out on whale watch trips on a daily basis are getting much more frequent sighting information and the identifications of individual animals, uh, which we can use to then estimate population size and movements. Well, blue whales are an endangered species. Uh, they haven't recovered completely from commercial whaling. It looks like they're being affected by ship strikes, uh, so they're very vulnerable. Uh, this research is a way we can see how their populations are recovering and identify ways that we can reduce what seems to be their biggest threat, which is ship strikes. Hopefully to deploy some tags on blue whales and the shipping lanes off LA Long Beach.